Here is the entrance to the city museum. I call it a lot of times the children's museum, but it's actually called the city museum. There's some really cool stuff on top. Big slide up there. There's a bus you can walk out to the front of. Just on the other side of the front door is where you can walk to and look out over the edge. St. Louis downtown trolley. Take you all around town. So we're downtown already. Hi, Donna. Hi. We're going to 1319 Washington Avenue, which is the address of Star Clippers. That's a comic book shop. So we're going to see what's up there. Here it is. This is Star Clippers now open. Cool. Star Clipper comics, games, and collectibles. So we're gonna go on in. Let's go see it. Yeah, Star Clippers is a very cool store. All kinds of figures and comics. Selection of vinyl figures and pops. And trades. It's bargain books. Star Clipper shirts, we got one. Walking Dead, Rick Grimes, Michonne. So if you're in St. Louis looking for a comic book shop or some vinyl figures, come to Star Clippers. Figures from the Disney Pixar movie Inside Out. Those are cool. And they have the pops too. What are these from? <laughs> Don't know that one. Is that an anime? Maybe. Princess Knight. That one I'm not familiar with. Haley, is this a comic book or what? It, what is this from? Is this an anime or? Uh, like, is this from a video game character? It's a video game. Uh, like a manga. Okay. The whole neighborhood around Star Clippers on Washington Avenue has some really interesting buildings and restaurants. So we're going to take a walk and up and down that area. Oh, look at the monkeys up there, Stan. Yeah, on the front Zoom of that building, that. there's some. Uh, Monkeys on the facade of that building. Interesting. Very cool. So, there's lots of good places to eat down here, little shops. And the city museum is not too far from uh, where we were at Star Clippers, so we're gonna go that way. I love that tall, narrow building there. That's cool. And I love that person too. There goes Donna. Just walking in the rain. Walking in the rain. And coming up is the City Museum. It's really actually a cool museum, kind of geared to children and exploring and discovery. A lot of fun interactive things, right, Donna? Yeah, we've yeah. been there before. Yeah, we've been there before. And if you take a little kid and they crawl through some of those tubes, it is hard to find them. It's hard to get them out of there. It's like a maze. It's danger. <laughs> No, seriously, we're not joking. If you're not uh, small enough or agile enough to go in after them, you might not see them for a while. They might not want to come out. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got a younger kid, you can send in after them. <laughs> Here is the entrance to the city museum. I call it a lot of times the children's museum, but it's actually called the city museum. It has some really cool stuff on top. Big, big slide up there. There's a bus you can walk out to the front of. Just on the other side of the front door is where you can walk to and look out over the edge. Looks like they're working on a castle turret there. Never know what they're going to add here. It's an airplane for sculpture. 
It's a city okay, museum. I'm lying. Big giant ball pit. A lot going on here. I'm be refreshed. It's a uh, bathroom. They've recycled a lot of materials and repurposed a lot of things here. Over here. Cool. Just a lot of nice little architectural touches everywhere. It's cool. California closets. I've seen those on TV. Oh, naked lady. You made me look. Well, half naked lady. That's art, honey. That's okay. art. <laughs> oh, the two naked ladies up there. Don't quit. Quit pointing that out. So although we couldn't go to the city museum today, it's a good place to check out. Great place for kids. Lots to do there. They will keep busy. You can eat in there. All different kinds of food. And it's called Heroes. H-I-R-O. Heroes? I assume it's there's Japanese food, maybe? Or Chinese? I'm gonna assume That's Japanese. Good. Don't you think? Yeah seating but just not today. Puka lounge over there and flannelies. This is supposed to be a good restaurant. So Medina. Mediterranean girl. So. I think eventually people they come to see the blues play at the Scott Trade Center go to eat at Flannery's. Flannery's. It's Blondie's coffee and wine bar. <laughs> Wow, this is really nice. Cupcakes, yeah. This is really pretty. A lot of pastries and of course different coffees. Hi. Good. Have a really pretty coffee shop. We decided to go into Blondie's and get a cupcake. Vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. It looks really good. They have a lot of good okay. desserts here. It's a dessert and coffee bar. So and a water. We're gonna share that. Share a water and a cupcake. Wow. There's a lot of places like this along Washington Avenue, so it's a good place to just uh, get out and walk, take a stroll, or come over and eat some different kind of food, maybe. Really pretty. Look at that chandelier. Yeah, this is Rosalita's. Very pretty place. St. Louis has a lot of interesting areas, and one of those is along Washington Avenue near the downtown. We went there and went to the Star Clippers comic book shop that used to be over on the Del Mar Loop and they moved over to Washington Avenue and it's a really cool comic book shop. Uh, we also went just down the street and went to the City Museum just to take a quick look around and then back down Washington Avenue to look at some of the many varied restaurants. It's a great place to find something maybe a little different to eat. And Thanks for watching and check out Washington Avenue.